multiple takes, offering them as a VO or requesting them as a client is easily one of my most highly suggested tips. Hi, my name is Brian Pulowski. I am a professional voiceover talent for national brand, commercial, and promotions, specializing in the Southern California beach and relaxed lifestyle sound. I suggest them all the time, but to be honest, I actually didn't win this audition off providing multiple takes, but there's a very good reason for that, and I'm going to explain that to you. First thing, though, is... uh, The names of this client have been omitted out of privacy and respect for this specific client, but let me show you how the finished audio came out. At the Chamber, we believe in the power of ambition. We believe in being a catalyst for economic growth and innovation. We represent and advocate for the storytellers and the entrepreneurial spirit. Our members come from all places because distance is not what it used to be. We are communicating in different ways, faster ways, and the chamber is tirelessly working to foster a space for explosive growth. Multiple takes are providing, well, multiple options and multiple takes of the the script. So if you get a script, you're reading, and there's a couple lines, instead of just reading the lines and delivering them to the client. Uh, you provide more than one of those. You provide multiple takes. You give them multiple options. If you're a client, I always recommend that you um, ask for those from your VO because it's going to give you a lot of options to pick from. Sometimes the first one's not the best one, even if the voiceover talent thinks it's the best one. So you want to give and ask for multiple takes if possible. It just depends on the script length and we can get into that. Now, So I told you earlier that I didn't provide multiple takes for the audition, and there's a good reason for that. A lot of clients that I've spoke to don't prefer to have multiple takes, but it depends. So this script, the script sample that I provided for the audition, was a couple lines. Many clients don't have the time when they're going through. You guys don't have the time to to listen to lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of auditions, let alone multiple takes, because you can kind of tell right from the beginning if the voice is a good fit for you. So what happens is, you know, you're listening to all these voiceover talents or providing one take for you. You know, if they provide two takes, sometimes you listen, sometimes you don't. And as a voiceover talent, we want to feel like we can give you all these different options. But the truth is, they can kind of tell within 10 minutes whether you're going to be hired or not. So I didn't provide a multiple take on this audition, but it did work out and they did like it. So multiple takes have uh, many benefits and for many reasons they have these benefits. The number one reason is the client. Always put in the client first. You're giving the client options and options are always good. How many? Well, I guess it depends on the length of the script. If I can give three options, I'm going to give three options. Now, if you have a script length of 100 words, I might even give you three, four options. But as the length of the script increases, it gets a little harder to include multiple takes of everything. So what I'll do is if I can tell that there are key lines, key punches to hit, things that I need to billboard, for example, the name of the the brand, the name of the company, phone numbers, locations, um, phrases, if there's tag lines, if I could tell that it's important, specifically if it's in bold on this script, I'll, I'll provide some multiple takes on that. That way they can, they can cherry pick which ones they'd like. Another option of providing multiple takes for you as a voiceover artist is that it kind of saves you time in the end. So you're thinking, okay, well, Brian... If I'm providing multiple takes, I'm doing extra work. Well, the truth is you're already in the vocal booth. You're already recording wherever you record your studio. The first take seems to take the longest. You're kind of shaking things out, figuring out how it goes. Second, third, fourth, extra takes, they go quicker. So if the script is short enough and you're able to provide multiple, I would provide multiple of them. It's going to save you in the end because 
the client won't come back to you for something else if they need it. Another huge benefit to multiple takes is it can give the client um, different ideas for further work down the line. So what I've done before is by providing multiple takes, I have had clients, more than one in fact, come back to me and like what I've done and request more. They're like, I like that tone. I like the direction you're going with. It gave me some great ideas. Can I add a few lines? Of course you can add a few lines. And as a voice sound, you're going to pay for that. As a client, you expect to pay for that, but it's a win-win both ways. So providing multiple takes might give the client some, some options, or they might hear something, and it might not be a good fit for the specific project, but they're going to hear that you can go to that level. Maybe um, you can get more sympathetic and, and, and really get emotional in your delivery, or you're really excited and animated, whatever the case is the client can hear some options and they might want to use that for down the road. So there's there's lots of benefits to multiple takes. All right, let's have a look at the job agreement here. So project is going to include commercial rights. We're looking at 225 words, which is one minute, 30 seconds. Um, deadline is within 24 hours. I agreed to that. I'm, I'm absolutely fine with that. That's not a problem at all. Um, so let me draw your attention to this right here, the instructions for the client. The first thing actually, as I'm, I'm looking at this, let's back up a bit. So what I'm noticing here is this is not the client that hired me. This is the, probably the, the producer is hiring me. So kind of the middleman. So the client hires the producer who's going to produce the commercial or promotion, um, in this case, it's it's going to be a commercial to produce it, edit it, hire the talent, me, everything. Okay, so they're kind of like the middleman. So then I get shortlisted off the audition. That goes to the client. The client talks, goes through options, says, yep, I want Brian. It's perfect. And producer reaches out to me and says, awesome. We want to hire you. Here's a note from the client. So if you look at this right here, instructions for the talent, this is directly from the client. The client says, uh, my only voiceover requests are to have some inspirational energy and to give some breathing room throughout to drop in clips. That's easy. So as you heard me do earlier, it's looking for inspiration. We're drawing inspiration to the company for this. And they want to drop in sound effects. They want to put in different uh, music beds. I don't know what that is. I'm not producing it. So that's why you didn't hear any of that in. But you leave room for it. You know, um, you know, when you walk across the bridge, sometimes you don't expect what you're going to see. Like you're just, it's, you're pulling out drama. So they want that and I love it. Okay. So I can easily do that. Inspiration we're building up because there's words in the script, like uh, new stories, new connections. We're building new, 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 new inspirational. It's getting better. So that was the, the whole vibe they're looking for. And I like this part right here. I like how Brian's voice didn't sound like our typical old white guy in <laughs> corporate videos. So perfect. So perfect. And no, I don't have an old white guy voice. So I thought that was funny. I, I The producer and I were, were talking back and forth today and I had a good chuckle at that. He's like, yeah, I thought you would. So um, excellent. Yeah. So very excited about this project. It, it came out great and um, hopefully more work comes out of it. So multiple takes is a great idea when it's feasible. And I say feasible because Again, it depends on the script length. If the script length is, and I want you to decide, I'm not going to give you a number. I have my own internal number. And I want you to be aware if you are a client that voiceover talents might not give the entire script multiple takes. That is, that is all on them. Um, I'm very proficient when I read my scripts. I don't personally make a lot of errors. I don't mind giving multiple takes on longer lengths uh, in word counts on scripts, but it's to each their own. So be aware of that as a client, be aware of that as a voiceover talent that, you know, you got to judge it on what do you feel comfortable delivering multiple word counts up? Because the truth is you bid a job, you quote a job based on the word count of this script. And if you're providing multiple takes, if you're doing the whole script, which I did for this final, 
I gave three takes of the entire script, but I don't mind. I don't mind doing it because although it's triple the word count, to me, I would rather make sure that my client is happy. I would rather make sure they're getting exactly what they want rather than, (coughs) excuse me, rather than worrying about Ah, uh, you know, I don't know. You're only paying me for this much. I, I have my own opinion on that. I don't mind going above and beyond for my clients. I do a little extra, a little extra work pays off in the end because my clients are happy and that's great customer service. You, you always want to provide that. And that's just, that's just what I'm always shooting to do. So that's, that's, that's what we got going on. I would place um, providing multiple takes or requesting multiple takes as one of my top five things that are essential that you need to request from your voiceover talent or provide to the client. Another one of those would be sample readings. Now, if you're getting a, if this job comes through, if the job goes through through an audition like the job I, I did today, that is the sample reading. You don't need to request it. You don't need to provide it. But uh, if you're hiring based on not even hearing their voice to your script, then you do need to request a sample reading. And if you're not familiar with providing a sample reading, I did a video on that uh, previously. You could check that out right there. I believe that there are five fundamental things that every client should know prior to hiring a voiceover talent, and I would love to share that with you. I made a video of it. If you look in the YouTube description below, you can see that it's right next to the request for the sample reading. If you look in the description below, you're going to see the link for the fundamentals of hiring a voiceover talent and the request for the sample reading. Both are completely free, and you can access those by clicking on the links. I hope you got a lot out of this. And if you have any questions or comments for me, please don't hesitate to reach out to my email or leave a comment below. I respond all the time as quick as I possibly can. If you have a suggestion for a video that you would like to see or hear about or learn a little bit more about as a client, please reach out to me. I'm here to help you and make sure you get exactly what you need. Thank you.